Kalima, Kalima, Kalima. No, I'm just playing. You can keep your heart. So we all love movies. They give us an escape from reality and allow us to visit new and exciting places. But what you might not know is that some of the most popular movies ever have been riddled with bad luck. So much so that some have been called flat out cursed. So this week, I gathered a list of movies that have had so many unfortunate events surround them that they would make even the biggest skeptic wonder if they really are cursed. So here they are, the 10 most cursed movies ever created. Number one is the poltergeist curse. As if a movie about evil ghosts invading a home and stealing a family's young daughter isn't creepy enough, what's even creepier is what happened to the cast in real life. Four members of the cast from the Poltergeist trilogy died from either cancer, being murdered, or other health complications within six years of the movie's release between 1982 and 1988. Many people believe the curse is due to the filmmakers using real human remains in the first Poltergeist movie, which, by the way, the actors were not made aware of. Now, of course, of course, we don't know if this is a curse or just plain bad luck, but what I do know is if I'm in a production and you're using pieces of a real human, you best be telling me unless you want to pay for my psychiatry bills for the next 10 years. Damn! Number two is the Superman curse. Everyone knows and loves Superman, but what you probably didn't know is that the franchise has been plagued with bad luck for decades. The first to be affected was actor George Reeves who played Superman in the 1950s who was shot in the head in 1959. Then of course was the famous Christopher Reeve accident that happened in 1995 where he was thrown from his horse, paralyzing him from the waist down. Then Richard Pryor from Superman 3 was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis, and finally Margot Kidder, who played Lois Lane, was diagnosed with bipolar disorder. Even Dean Cain, who played Superman in Lois and Clark, had his career completely die off after the series, and he was the luckiest of them all. That reminds me, has anyone checked on Henry Cavill lately? Someone might want to give the Man of Steel a call. Number three is the Omen Curse. If there was a king of of cursed movies, The Omen from 1976 would definitely be in the running. During filming, the scriptwriter, the executive producer, and the star Gregory Peck's planes were all hit by lightning. Then, the executive producer's hotel was bombed, as was a restaurant the director and the actors were scheduled to eat at, both separate and unrelated events. On Friday the 13th of August 1976, special effects consultant John Richardson crashed his car, injuring himself and killing his assistant. One of the film's tiger handlers died, Gregory Peck's son shot himself, and a plane scheduled for use in the film crashed and killed everyone on board. Yeah, like I said, cursed. Number four is The Exorcist Curse. The Exorcist from 1973 is still regarded as one of the scariest films ever made, but what's even scarier is what happened behind the scenes. There are so many stories about The Curse of The Exorcist that E! True Hollywood Story did a two hour special on it. In fact, there are so many stories that I'll just briefly summarize them. Up to nine people associated with the film died, including cast, crew, and relatives. Actress Ellen Burstyn, who played the mother of Linda Blair, suffered a spinal injury while on set. And if that wasn't enough, the set burned down due to unexplained circumstances which finally caused the director to call in a real priest to mitigate. Personally, I would have called, you know, the police if my set burned down, but, you know, priorities. I guess. Number five is The Passion of the Christ Curse. From a movie that the devil didn't want being made to a movie that I'm pretty sure God didn't want being made. During filming of Passion of the Christ, assistant director Jan Michelini was struck by lightning not once, but twice. In addition, the main actor Jim Caviezel was also struck by lightning and had a piece of his flesh ripped out during a fake whipping scene. He also dislocated his shoulder while carrying a wooden cross, suffered hypothermia, a lung infection, and pneumonia. Wow, it's just a good thing they finished before the locusts arrive, or that could have been pretty messy. Number six is the Wizard of Oz curse. Everyone loves the Wizard of Oz because it has a nice happy ending. Or did it? There were numerous accidents that occurred while filming, including Margaret Hamilton, who played the Wicked Witch of the West, being badly burned and sent to the hospital during a scene where she burst into flames. After the movie's release, the personal life of actress Judy Garland fell apart, including four divorces, she fought neurosis and addiction, and finally died of an overdose. Also, only four months after the movie's release, Frank Morgan, who played the wizard, was in a serious car accident, and the list just goes on and on. And here, you thought it was all 
football, munchkins, ruby slippers, and a cowardly lion. <laughs> no, actually, it was quite dark. Number seven is the Apocalypse Now curse. Legendary director Francis Ford Coppola's film Apocalypse Now from 1979 was riddled with unfortunate events from the very beginning. Numerous sets were destroyed by a monsoon that swept through the Philippines where they were filming. Marlon Brando showed up overweight and essentially refused to learn his lines, while Martin Sheen, who was drinking heavily at the time, suffered a heart attack. The film ended up being delayed several times as Coppola struggled to figure out an ending to the film, and he reportedly was so sure that it was going to end his career that he threatened to kill himself several times during filming. On a positive note, the movie did go on to win multiple awards, although of course Martin Sheen did go on to raise Charlie Sheen, and well, we all know how that turned out, so... Meh. Number eight is The Rebel Without a Cause Curse. Rebel Without a Cause is a classic film from 1955 that was famously surrounded by strange and unusual events. James Dean, the iconic star of the film, was killed while racing his Porsche 550 Spider before the film's release at the age of only 24. His co-star, Natalie Wood, drowned due to unusual circumstances years later, and another member of the cast, Sal Mineo, was stabbed to death in an alley. And perhaps the most bizarre event was when orthopedic surgeon Troy McHenry fitted his own car with pieces of the Porsche Spider that James Dean died in, only to also crash and die himself. So I guess if you could take anything away from this, it would be don't use car parts from a previously crashed car. That's like wearing a suit that someone else died in. It's pretty creepy and you're just asking for trouble. You know. Curses and whatnot. Number nine is the Atuk Curse. If you've never heard of this movie, well, that's because it was never filmed, as every actor who has shown interest in the lead role has died. First, John Belushi read the script and was interested in the role when he died of a drug overdose in 1982. After his death, the lead role went to comedian Sam Kinison, who then died in a car crash. The lead role was then passed to John Candy in 1994, who died of a heart attack, and then finally Chris Farley, who died of a drug overdose. Damn, they really need to shelve this project permanently before it does any more damage, or pass it off to Kim Kardashian for a while, then shelve it permanently. Just saying. And number 10 is The Matrix Curse. As it turns out, the blockbuster movie about artificial reality had some very real life bad luck. It began with Keanu Reeves' girlfriend Jennifer Syme having serious complications during childbirth. This caused them to split up shortly after which she died in a car accident. Shortly after that, 22 year old Aaliyah, who had a role as Z in the movie, lost her life in a plane crash. Immediately after that, Gloria Foster, who played the role of the Oracle, also died. Continuous injuries and delays caused the film to spiral out of control to the point where Keanu Reeves had to sign away 24 million of his own paycheck just to prevent the entire production from collapsing. Of course, that's out of the 35 million that he made for the movie, so he really still made away with 11 million. Wow. What a terrible curse. And that's it for this time, guys. If you enjoyed this video, you should definitely check out my friends at CinemaSins. They do videos about the mistakes in some of the biggest Hollywood movies out there, and I'm actually on their channel right now doing a voiceover for their newest video. So if you want to check out my first ever voiceover, click the annotation on the screen or the link in the description and let them know I sent you. And uh, let me know how I did because I'm pretty proud of it. As always, I would very much appreciate it if you guys gave that like button a click, and I will see you all back here next Saturday with a brand new video. Peace. Now that I think about it, I really hope that I don't die after making this video. Thanks for watching my new video. If you'd like to see future videos from me, remember to click the big red subscribe button below to subscribe to my channel. I release a new video every Saturday. And if you'd like to add me to Facebook, Twitter, or Vine, or Snapchat, or any one of those, the links to those will be in the description, along with a link to check out my second channel. And of course, remember to check out CinemaSins, because I've actually been subscribed to them for a while now, and I really think you guys are going to enjoy their content. So be sure to check them out. Have a great weekend, and I will see you all back here next Saturday. Bye.